Street Photography Secrets. One minute, one photo, one tip. Hello there, this is Sab again and welcome to another Street Photography Secret Hint. Here we are in uh, Paris on a Paris bridge. It's, uh, it's overlooking a railway of course and let me show you where it is. It's out in the, on the edges of Paris down there. Uh, if you live in a town with edges then you might find that there's similar str similarly strange areas and I found this bridge that I could get onto. It's down here on this strangely named boulevard. <clears throat> I think it's here uh, and you can see there's just a mass or a mess of railway lines. It's unbelievable and and there they are, there's some of them and you can imagine this as uh, an interesting photograph either horizontally or vertically uh, this is what I did with it. Now it's quite a tall photograph which is going to be my hint for today but uh, there you go. I can't even fit it all in otherwise it would just be a pokey little one. Um, you can see the train snaking from the top to the bottom and what I've done is I've made the frame uh, fit the picture as it were. Uh, I've made it quite narrow and quite tall. You can see that effect here <clears throat> if you compare this picture, which you've just looked at, with another typical picture, you can see it's much thinner, as it were. Um, the ratio of the side to the top is, is much much larger. There you can see another one, that's the same photograph, but a, a sepia version, and another typical photograph of mine where I haven't done that. So I've, this one is definitely thinner uh, than the, the others. So my hint for today is, um, if I can remember it, fiddle your frames fiddle your frames. In other words, if you've got a long, thin, top to bottom subject, make your photo long and t tall and thin as well. Works the other way. If you've got a, a very horizontal but nothing much going on in the foreground or the background, why not make the, f the frame actually uh, very uh, long across the horizon but not very tall? And it creates a very, very eye-catching photograph. That's it. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye-bye.